Whoa. Hold on, go down. <clears throat> Alright, you're clear now. Watch them chains. Yeah, I'm watching. We only have a couple more inches we can go with this. Well, thing. keep going. Alright. Keep going. Keep going. That's it. That's it? Yeah. You're out of your mind. Alright, so here I have the uh, the engine mounted on the stand, ready for disassembly. First we'll start with draining the oil. Alright, so as the... Uh, engine oil is draining I'm gonna start ripping this thing apart I'm gonna start with uh, probably up here on the ignition coil alternator take the upper end apart and go from there So right now I'm setting the timing just to get a reference for later and look at what I discovered here on these pulleys on the outside there's an arrow and on the timing belt bracket that's in the back side there's a notch. So that's on both sides. So when you turn it and line those arrows up, I'll go to this side so you can probably see that a little bit better. Right there is top dead center. Piston number one should be at top dead center. That's everything that's lined up. I don't know what these marks are for. Maybe they were used before in another friendly, but my harmonic balance there, this is probably 30, 30 degree mark there. Alright, so that's set. Now it's time to take this big pool wheel off, take the balancer off. That way I can get this cover off and take the rest of all the pulleys out of the way. I had to get this guy off of there. Where is the impact?
So as you can see, I'm pretty much down to you know removing this timing belt. And I have all my marks lined up. The arrow on this pulley here. The arrow on this pulley, if you can see that, it's kind of dark. Line up with the notches. My crank pulley is lined up with this little nub here coming off of your camshaft position sensor. And what I'm gonna do, here's your tensioner with your tensioner pulley. I was gonna pull up on this, but it appears to be that the actual tensioner itself is, um, you can't release the tension. I mean, you can, but it, the hole for the actual, like, bracket is lined up with the tensioner dampening and I won't be able to put a pin through there to hold it so it looks like I might just have to pop off maybe this lower bearing here that lower pulley and go from there actually maybe a plate leverage always works Put a little nail in this tensioner here to hold the plunger. And now, slide the belt off. Here's the belt. What's up? It is December 16th, 2017. We're going to work on taking these valve covers off and the heads today. Hopefully we'll see how far we get. So let's start let's get going here. As you can see, I have the valve cover off and I'm going to pop these cams off in order to get to the head bolts. Alright, so after you get all the camshaft, uh, camshaft bolts out, what you want to do is gently pry up on the camshaft to free up the bearing. But first you got to remove all the caps. There are six bolts total. Two out of the six are slightly smaller. They're on the outer cap. To remove your final cap, put that up in place, and then gently, actually you probably don't have to pry, you'll probably just yank this out. Maybe give a little bump. There you go. That way. Oh boy. There's a little oil seal there, so don't lose that either. Actually, there's a total of 
12 bolts for these two are the smaller the length of ones. The rest of these are a little bit longer and wider. Now it looks like you have one, two, three, six head bolts on each side. Now I'm going to take those out. That way we pop this head off. Now this is a 14 millimeter 12 point socket for the head. That's what I'm going to take off right now. I got my 14 millimeter socket along with my breaker bar. So let's see what we can get this off. It'll come off that easy. That's what we are. So here's the cylinder head. Got that one popped off. There's your exhaust ports. Intake. Um, if you can see them. <sighs> cylinder walls are still pretty good. So, so far, there's no signs of a blown head gasket. I mean, this looks pretty good to me. That's what came off. Doesn't appear to be blown, but I don't know. What do I know? Alright, so now it's time for the other side. Here's the second head off. Still not seeing any leaks. I don't see signs of a leak anywhere. Okay, so I removed the little crossover tube here for the coolant. Now I'm going to flip the motor over and remove the oil pan. Alright, so first I'm going to take off and remove the water pump assembly with the pulley and the thermostat housing all in one. There's about one, two, three, four, five, six bolts that hold that assembly on and it should pop right off. So. And that should pop right off there. There's your impeller. Not bad. Spins freely too. I'm still gonna get a new one regardless. 
Alright, so to open that up next is the oil pan. Alright, so here's your oil pan. Here are the bolts. There's about 14 of them. And it's pretty dark back there. But let's start removing that. Alright, so now I have all the bolts out. Next step is to remove the pan. I am using this heel bar here. And rather than pry up on any of the sides, I decided that I'm going to just wedge it within the dipstick tube here. And try to pry up and maybe split that silicone. So let's try it. That was easier than I thought it would go. That came off smooth. Alright, so... Now, here is your oil pan. And here's the inside. Here's your oil pump. Filter's pretty clean. So the next step is remove all these components, remove the motor mounts, and then we're going to pop this, the block itself, put it on the ground. Alright, this, these two are the motor mounts, 13 millimeter bolts. Requires two for each mount. I have the one I've removed when I was taking the engine out of the car. Now taking the oil pump off, it's got, looks like one, two, three 10 millimeter bolts. Oh, looks like there's an O-ring. Here's the baffle shield. Pop them off. Looks like one, two, three, four, five, six bolts total. All right. Now you can see now that the baffle and the oil pan is removed. You can see the casing here on the inside. Here's your crank along with your connecting rods. So next I'm actually gonna get the rest of the components off the front, lay this thing down. Take this sprocket gear off. I'm going to sign off and just leave, you know, the block dismantling next time. Uh, hit the like button and leave any comments below on what you want to know or if you need to know any more information. And um, stay tuned till next time. See you later.